Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. It's me, Sarah, and I know I'm supposed to upload this video um, Thursday, which was yesterday, but I couldn't just because um, the building, my building is um, doing a lot of renovation, so it's just so loud. Like, they just never stop. So it's been so loud lately that I just can't record because they in the background and you can hear them. They drill in the side of the building and it's just so much going on. So um, they're actually working right now, but they're not like right at my window. So it's not that loud. But anyway, so today I'm going to do like a quick update video review on the items that I um, bought during the VIB sale and during the Target haul. So just a quick update and I actually have I actually did my makeup already off camera just because it takes me forever to do my makeup and I just don't want to do that on camera right now I just put my son down for his nap so I had to really rush this um, but I was able to do my makeup and finish it off camera so I'm just gonna jump right into it and just show you guys the product that I bought from last time and you know just do a review and let you guys know how is it How's the product and is it really worth the money or not? And you know, do some swatches for you guys as well. So just stay tuned and we're gonna jump right into that item down. Okay, you guys, so the first item that I'm gonna talk about today is the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. And I actually have this on my list today. I just did my makeup, so I was using this palette. I've been using this palette ever since I got it. So I've been doing a few different looks lately, and it's been really fun with this palette just because. I'm such a neutral person that all my other palettes are very neutral um, like the browns the little hint of pinks so I just been really comfortable with those color and it's like an everyday wear for me like I don't really like I don't really do dramatic look so with this palette it's definitely have gotten me out of my comfort zone to do colors and to try dramatic looks and you know just just to bring me out of my comfort zone so I've been really enjoying it so I'm gonna show you guys how it looks again okay so this is how it looks we have you know the browns the blues the teal we have the orange the purples and like these champagne nude color and I've really been enjoying this palette a lot like I was saying just because like these like these color right here like I would never use back then like I would never like I just don't know what to do with it like, I'm like oh my god you know it's just too much for me and like the orange but I've been really into orange so I did um, a few looks with the orange like these two like this shade right here I think it's pronounced Baja Baja one of them and this one right here is called Still Shot so it's like this pink coral color and I've been really into that those two colors a lot so I've been really playing around with this and I made, you know, I was able to do a um, a few different looks. Yeah, so it's been really good. So this palette is um, retail for $49. I bought it during the sale, so I had a 15% off, which was why I bought it. Like, I don't like to spend, um, I really don't like to spend a lot of money on palettes just because I feel like there's always a new palette coming out and... I'm always going to buy a different one just to, you know, experiment with. So I really don't like spending so much money on one palette. But this time I did because I've been eyeballing this palette for so long. It just really stood out to me. Like, all the colors were really cute. And when I was in store, I got to play around and do the swatches. And I was like, oh, you know, this is really interesting. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and buy it. And it's a very, like, I was thinking in my head, like, this is a good investment. Like, I get 21 shades. Which is not bad because there are other um, palettes. Let me see. I have another <laughs> palette. Okay, so this is my soft glam palette. Do excuse the dirtiness because my son just love, you know, doing his thing. I got eyelash on here <laughs> and everything. This only had 14 shade and it was about the same price. Like, it only had 14 shade and it's about, I believe, $42.00. So it's like $7 cheaper, but you only get 14 I have an extra 7 This one have an extra 7 shade for only $7 more. So, I mean, they're from two different brands, but you kind of get the idea. Like, they are on the expensive side, both the palettes. But this one, you get a little bit more shade, and you get 
variety of different colors. So I feel like, you know, this is a really good investment if you want to try something different with like, you know, the colors and, you know, get out your comfort zone and to travel is pretty good too. So the mirror is huge. Like I use this mirror for everything. Like I can use this to apply my makeup, my, you know, my foundation, do my eyebrows. Like it is so easy and I can really throw this in my purse when I travel, like, you know, go to places or if I don't know what I'm doing yet, this is pretty a pretty good palette because it just have you know a variety of different colors. Where if you don't know what you're finna do, this kind of inspire you to, you know, give you a option to do different looks than just do a neutral one. So I've been really liking that. So I'm gonna do a few swatches and I'm gonna show you guys, you know, um, the the color. So, I'm going to tell you guys about the swatches real quick. I don't know why when I was doing the swatches, it was a little, like, the matte was a little chalky. Like, it was just, it didn't come out as nice. Well, it was just really chalky for some reason. But then when I blend it on my eyes, it just blends so smooth. So, I don't know what's, like, I don't know why is that. But, yeah, so the swatches doesn't really match how it blends. Like, when I blend it, when I blend the mattes out, or the shimmers, or the metallic, like, it blends out so good. Like, I don't have a problem with it. I don't have any fallouts. I really don't have any problem with, with when I was blending my makeup. But when I was doing the swatches, for some reason, I had some fallout. It was chalky. It just wasn't as, um, as nice when compared to doing your makeup. So, but, I mean, the swatches is fine. It's not like, you know... It just swatches, but what what is important is when you do it on your face. So that is safe to say that, it, like, it is good on your face. So no work. And like, I have I didn't get no fallout at all when I was doing my makeup, at all. Like I did the matte, which blends out really well. It's so pigmented. It's so beautiful. Like I went in today with this color, Hell Ride. I did that one for my my crease and then I went in with um still shot I kind of just blend it right above my crease just to make it a little bit softer and then I went in with what else um this brown right here gone as what is it good as gone so I kind of did that at the corner of my lid just to dark deepen it up a little bit I, I was just playing around and it came out really good so just, I'm just a person who's doing my makeup. Like, I'm not a professional makeup artist or nothing like that. I'm just a person, I'm just a girl who just enjoy doing her own makeup and like to share my opinion and my looks with you guys. That's all. So, don't kill me for, you know, if you guys like, what the hell is she talking about? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so. So, I kind of covered my lid with the shimmer and it turned out really cute. Like, I love my makeup look today and it's really out of my comfort zone, but... It turned out really good, so I can't complain. And, um, yeah, so I really think this is worth $49. I think it's a good investment just because it is so, it is, um, you do get different colors in here, different shades, um, metallics, shimmer, mattes. So I think it's worth the buy. Um, the formula was really good as well. Everything was so smooth and so, um, it just blends out so good. <laughs> like, I was just so amazed by it because... The swatches didn't look too good, but when it was on your when it's on your eyes, it's absolutely beautiful. So, so far so good, and I get to do so many different looks already, and I can't wait to create more looks just to see what else I can do with this. But I've been I I've been enjoying, I've been having so much fun with this one. So yeah. All right, you guys. So last time during my VIP sale, I was telling you guys how I bought this eyebrow pencil from Anastasia Brother Hills, but it was damaged, and I told you guys I was gonna have to go return it. So which I did. I had to go back and return it. Um, but when I went back, I didn't. I was doing the, like um, swatches. I was trying it out again, and I didn't like how it was. Like I had to really press onto the pencil, onto my skin to really get the pigment out, to get the color out, to do the strokes. Like I like to do like really small strokes for my eyebrow just because like my eyebrow is pretty thick already. So I just like to do like the hair like strokes and just to do like a soft look. 
but with that one was really hard because I had to really press it down and sometimes that just did not work out so I was looking around and I saw the um, benefit cosmetic so I had went and grabbed their eyebrow pencil and this one's pretty cute like it have the spoolie on one end and then this one too and this one the tip is actually much um, much sharper than the other one the other one was a little bit fat compared to this one so this one was really um, it just glides onto your skin so easily like sorry I did not pull it out like just like that with the other one with the Anastasia one like I really had to press it down and I was like Ugh. that did not that did not work out with me so I went and grabbed this one instead even though this one is um, it costs a little bit more than the Anastasia one that one was $21 and this one was $24 so I was like it's only $3 and it works really good and I've been I use this for my eyebrows today as well and I'm just been in love with it like it's just so much easier to use so that's just a quick update I've been using the Target Beauty um, blush palette this one have blush highlighter um, and a bronzer but I've been using this one for the past for since I bought it like about a month now almost a month now and it's like it's really good as well like like look at this one this is my favorite shade I, I show you guys this during my Target haul but this is like my absolute favorite shade it's so pigmented as well this one is only five dollars at Target and I believe they have it in sale right now that is buy one get one 50% off right now so like do check it out if you guys are looking for something that's cheap and it's like and it's worked pretty good too because the um, highlighter worked really good as well it's not that um, it's not really that bright or very glowy but it is it does give you like a really soft highlight so it's okay for five bucks you know this is not bad at all so do check that out and um and that is it for today you guys oh yeah I just want to talk about my lashes real quick so I have on these lashes right here and these are like so it's like it's just so cute like it looks so natural some people thought these were my real lashes and I was like oh no baby this is not my real lashes <laughs> I wish but it's just so natural and it just it does look like you know it could be someone real lashes just they are the 3d make strip lashes so people think that they are the individual ones and I'm like no this was just a strip and people are like what and I'm like I know I know girl I know because I just always been looking for like the perfect lash like I want some dramaticness but I want it to be so natural that you really can't tell that they're fake and I always I've been just like keep looking keep looking because I can't get both and I finally found these and I was like yes yes like finally I find one that just match my style and I just been getting so many compliments like at the grocery store at the at work buying coffee and you know they look decent when a, a man tell you that like not your man but you know some other men that notice because girls of course we always gonna notice but it's really hard so sometimes some guys just don't notice but when random men notice you have that your lashes are popping they are popping okay so I was like yes anyway just wanted to mention that so really excited about that as well okay you guys so that's really it for today I just want to do a quick video just to show you guys do a quick review for some of the items that I've been using I will make another video to do the rest of the items that I've been purchasing and which one I think was really good or even not so good so just stay tuned that video is coming up very soon and I do apologize again for not uploading um, on time this week just because of the inconvenience that's going on in my life so just stay tuned um, new videos coming up real soon and thank you guys for watching and supporting my other videos and you know for subscribing and subscribe if you guys haven't you know just hit that red button down there and um yeah just continue to watch i hope you guys like this video i hope you guys like this look give me a thumbs up if you do leave in the comments what you guys think you know and let me know so that's it for today you guys i will see you guys soon so just stay tuned i have a lot more things coming up real soon bye